Hey, welcome to the Ride of Photo. I'm here uh, for a second time, second video with uh, Ezra, my friend. Hey guys. Uh, he was he had a first appearance in my video about inexpensive uh, cameras that have great functionality. You can check that up right here. Uh, and uh, today he's going to talk with me about uh, inexpensive gifts that you can get your friends that are into photography. For Christmas. As I'm sure everyone who's got a friend that's a photographer or is a photographer themselves know, photography is a really expensive hobby to get into, or profession for that matter. Um, and so if you've got that photographer friend that you just want to get them the perfect photography gift for Christmas, but don't want to blow the wallet, we've got a list of items that every photographer could use and need, but yet are still relatively cheap. Mm -hmm. The first item on our list is a tripod, and a tripod is a tool that's going to come in incredibly handy to any videographer or photographer. Now tripods can get pretty expensive, but you can also get some pretty high quality tripods at a lower price. Okay, so uh, one of these tripods is the Dalka TX570DS, now that's a really long word. Well that but... rolls right off the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're going to put um, a link in the description. Uh, for all of the things that we're going to talk about so that you can go check them out. Um, but this is one that um, is really high quality. It's sturdy. It's made out of uh, aluminum. And uh, you can also get new new heads for it. So it, originally it comes with a, a ball head, which is great for photographers, but you can also put a video head on that. Uh, it also can transform into a monopod, the DS version. Make sure you get the DS version. There is another one that's a TX570 uh, SL, so you want to get the DX version, a DS version, so that you can get um, a better head and uh, uh, so that you can trans transition it to a monopod. Moving up the line a little bit, there's the MiPhoto tripods. Now MiPhoto is a great brand of tripods. They actually specialize in a traveling tripod. It's a very lightweight, portable tripod. And you can pick up Mi Photo tripods for around $100 to $130 on Amazon. Now, it is a little bit more expensive, but it's an overall higher quality product. The next item on our list is a flash. Now, this is a great tool for any photographer because the flash on most DSLRs and cameras isn't that high quality. One of the flashes you can get for a really good price is the newer TT560 uh, Speedlight. It comes at $40 and it is a great tool. Um, it's manual though, it won't automatically choose how bright the flash will be, but um, it, that's great for people that are into manual photography and also if there's people that, um, if your friend uh, is not into manual photography, this can actually help them um, learn uh, manual lighting and uh, things like that. So uh, this is a great flash, there's, a, there's many more out there that can automatically uh, determine how how bright the flash should be um, but another well I actually reviewed this in one of the videos so if you want to see that video uh, the review click up here but uh, this flash ha also has a reflector and a, a kind of a light spreader that uh, really comes into handy when you're uh, using flashes now since flash is kind of only appropriate for uh, photographers uh, we have something that's more for videographers out there um, photographers will still want this if they do some video um, but this is actually a uh, really great a uh, kind of a necessity for videographers it's a portable recorder now portable recorders are great for videographers they really give you a whole lot of extra control over your audio there are a whole horde of portable recorders on the market today, but one of my favorite portable recorders and the one I personally use is the Tascam DR05. And I actually use that myself. We both have a DR05 and we're actually recording this video with that right now. The DR05 is relatively cheap, coming in at around $85 and comes equipped with two incredibly sensitive condenser microphones. The DR05 records 24-bit audio in WAV and MP3 file formats. You can also use external microphones using um, the 3.5 millimeter jack that's on the top and you can listen to uh, what you're recording while you're recording with headphones uh, plugging into the side. Another great gift for any photographer or videographer is a camera bag. Now I use the Manfrotto Allegra 10 messenger bag and this has been a great bag. My one comment is if you're working with a lot of lenses it's kind of small 
But other than that, it's been an overall really great bag that I've enjoyed a lot. How much can it hold? Um, it's got a DSLR little pouch in there that actually comes out and you can clip onto your belt, which is great. Um, if you're doing like a wedding video or something like that, to have sort of a camera holster there right on your side. I found that you can also stick a lens in there. So if you're working with two lenses, you can hold one lens in this little pouch while you're using the other and just swap them out. Um, really great. So it's got that little pouch in there and then it's got a space where I guess you could put a lens, um, but it doesn't have any place to put that lens, not any padding or anything. So I've just got that little, this little case that um, I put my extra lens in there and it fits very nicely down in. It's also got um, a tablet sleeve that I guess you could use for a small computer, um, but it fits an iPad very nicely. So um, overall just a great case that I'm really pleased with. But also other Manfrotto bags are really great. They're, They're really great. great. Um, they can get a little bit expensive though, but this bag in particular I paid around $30 for. So um, I actually have a bag also that I'd recommend. Uh, this is a low pro a Nova Sport 35L AW. Which you can get. Which you can, <laughs> yeah. It's the biggest in a line called the Nova Sport line. Um, they're all really good price, under fifty dollars. Um, this I got uh, on sale for fifteen, so that's really great. Uh, this is more of a, a bigger size, so uh, it will carry more. Unlike his, where where it doesn't hold very many lenses, this can hold uh, plenty of lenses and several bodies as well. Um, and they're all pretty much the same price. The only thing that you're uh, losing with this one is the uh, ability to easily take cameras out while you're all out walking around taking photos. Another great gift for any videographer or photographer is camera batteries. Now most DSLR and point and shoot batteries only last a couple of hours and if you're shooting in the field for a day you're definitely going to want more than one. This is why almost every photographer would love to get an, um, several new batteries and so uh, there's actually the brand name batteries that you can get for a little bit more expensive um, and you can also get generic which are uh, cheap um, so there's two options uh, I personally go with generic but uh, it's probably better to get the brand name batteries because um, sometimes uh, if you use uh, generic batteries they can um, ruin the camera so uh, the brand name batteries have better electronics inside that uh, make sure that the, the battery always works with the camera. Once again though, brand name batteries are going to be a little bit more expensive. You can pick up a brand name Canon battery for around $50, $60, while a generic you can get as cheap as $15, $20. Yeah. Now you probably already know that if you carry around uh, a big camera and a lens, it's going to, after a few hours of hiking or at an event uh, shooting, it's going to get pretty heavy. So a great way to fix that is to have a camera strap. Now almost every photographer would love to have uh, a camera strap, a comfortable one, a good quality uh, strap that uh, makes it easy to carry around their gear. And there's not really a best brand in camera straps. I mean there's brand name camera straps like Canon and Nikon and there's also great generic ones too. So it's kind of up to you. Now camera straps shouldn't run you over, I mean $15 for a really nice one, but you can get them as cheap as two bucks. Mm -hmm. Another thing that is similar to uh, batteries and camera straps uh, are SD cards. Um, they're really inexpensive. You can get a 16 gigabyte, which is recommended for me. You probably would want a 32 gigabyte since you do video, a lot of video. But uh, depending on if you're a photographer or a videographer, photographers uh, uh, mostly uh, would do great with just a 16 gigabyte card. Uh, class 10, don't get like a class 4 because those are really slow. Um, but uh, that will only run you $20 for a good SD card. Um, you can also pay a little bit more to get a hard drive. Uh, you can get like a two terabyte uh, hard drive uh, for around $90, which is a really good size for a hard drive for photographers. Uh, so and videographers too, yeah, yeah. Either one of those would be great. In photography and videography, you can't really have enough storage. Uh, with cameras today that have that can take incredibly high resolution images or video, you can fill up a lot of space over the years. For someone who's very versed in manual photography, a great gift can be vintage lenses. 
These are actually very inexpensive that you can f find on eBay or uh, places like kid.com, K-E-H. Com. They have a lot of used vintage lenses there. And the definition of a vintage lens is actually just a lens that was created for SLR or a film camera. Now on a traditional lens you have something called contact points on the back of the lens. And these are just points that communicate with the computer inside the camera controlling aperture and autofocus. On a vintage lens however you don't have any of that because back when these lenses were created there were no electronics inside a camera to control any of that. So it's ideal that you shoot in manual mode with a vintage lens. Also since these were old and were man are manual lenses, uh, they are running for very inexpensive on the market today. You can get them for around 40 to $70. Um, really uh, great uh, lenses. Uh, do your research though on vintage lenses because they're old, they're used. Um, so you can't, you have to be careful about which one which one you're buying uh, if you have if there's if they say there's fungus inside a lens try not to get that one um, and there are also websites like vintage lenses for video com that uh, give reviews on vintage lenses uh, and tell you which ones are the best we'll put links to a couple great websites for vintage lenses in the description below that about wraps it up for this video um, I hope you find something great to give your uh, photographer friend or member of the family uh, so uh, thanks for watching please comment and subscribe uh, also please like this video that helps a lot uh, so I guess that's it see you guys Merry Christmas Rap. Uh. Ah! <laughs> hey! Woo! Woo! another great gift for any videographer or photographer is a camera bag now there are all sorts of camera bags some very expensive, some very cheap. And I got an itch on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see the wrench stains on my. Okay, yeah, the wrench. Ranch. <laughs> Remember when I dumped the wrench? You're like. <laughs> oh. All right, ready? I've got to look towards. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> It was all the broccoli tater, with it's tater tots. <laughs> oh, it's tater tots and barbecue and broccoli mix. <laughs> oh, it, oh, it was all that man. A really nice uh, microphone for really expensive. We should actually put that. <laughs> and put a, you did a review on that microphone, so put a link in the oh, description. Oh, I, I put the review. We're gonna dug it out. <laughs> Where are we gonna start now? I'm, as a as I'm, okay. If I a friend, that's a photographer. Ready? As I'm sure everyone who has a friend that's a photographer. <laughs> <laughs> How about I just say hey? Yeah, because then you can say hey guys. And we're not talking only to guys. If we could get it like right here, this sounds epic. Oh, yeah. The first, hey, list, the first yeah. thing on our, our list. This is our button. DJ mic, Micah. It's oh, so yeah. our DJ mic. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. What time is it? Uh, yeah. Like my socks. <laughs> Woo! Cascam DR05. This is the recorder I actually use, and the recorder we're recording our audio with. Right, yeah, right, right here. Right here. Here it is, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Ready? You're <laughs>